faith in.
church and pray. Bless those who give and those who have not to give. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
was wretched and poor now can sing. Praise God, praise God. I'm a child of the King. Amen. 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 We'll try to sing one more. Get out of the way. When I broke him from the battle and I lost another round, Satan whispered to my troubled mind, just lay your armor down. There are those you love and trusted. Look around, you dare all go. Will be easy to when you're standing all alone. And then I bow my head in sadness as I ponder what to do. I've been in God's army for so long, and I've been a soldier true. And then I hear a voice from heaven say a pilgrim is I, lift your head and take new courage, and turn your eyes toward the sky. And I see a great band of angels camped all around me, and I see the captain rising up, the
the light within us when God calls us to do something. We have no idea how many people we will interact with and that will influence and inspire and maybe help them come to know the Lord just in your everyday life. And uh, it just, it makes me sad to think about the wasted years I had. I know, you know, I'm getting older and I <coughs> think about how many years I had that I could have been serving God. And it, it makes me sad. I have a lot that I regret, but I just pray that my family, my husband, you know, that people that are backslidden, that they would just come back and renew that relationship with the Lord. The world needs them. The world needs that. And uh, I just have been feeling so encouraged and so happy lately, and I've been spending a lot of time praying. And I'm thankful for my Christian friends at work, and now they're hiring another girl. And <coughs> my boss told me, you're going to like her because she's really involved in her church and loves the Lord. And I'm, well, now i got two Christian girls in my department, and i got another one in another department that I can go to and talk to. And we just encourage one another and pray for each other. And, yeah. and I'm very grateful for that. And... Uh, I've just been feeling really blessed and really happy, and it doesn't matter. I know that I've wasted time, but I just, I'm glad to see God knows my heart and knows there's a willingness there to serve Him. And I just, uh, I just want to pray for those people that are out. You know, we need them. Got some, brother? It's good to be here this morning. I felt real spiritual yesterday, today, for some reason. Maybe not so much, but I do my best to always listen. try to help. We live in a time where we need people just like she was saying to to do their part, and you just never know what kind of influence you might be having on someone, and I thought when Dixie was, was singing the song she sang, I thought the scripture kind of come to me, how the Bible says, I'm just going to read this, and it's not really going to be what I want to get into, but it says, we are troubled on every side, yep. yet not distressed. That's right. We are perplexed, brother, but we're not in despair. Amen. Amen. We're persecuted, but not forsaken. Amen. Cast down, but not destroyed. Amen. <laughs> Always bearing about in the body the dying of the Lord Jesus, mm -hmm. that the life also of Jesus might be made manifest in our body. Amen. For we which live are always delivered unto death for Jesus' sake, that the life also of Jesus might be made manifest in our mortal flesh. Sometimes we go through things that we just don't understand. And I thought when we talk about the young man that, that took his life and, a, and, a, and his parents, I don't know how they would deal with such a thing without Christ in your life. And to be honest with you, I don't know how I would deal with it even having Christ in my life. But I thought there's a hand out there, amen, that we can reach out and grab in the moment of your greatest despair. I thought when the world seemed like it's been turned against you, I was talking to a guy just yesterday, and all these evil movements, and I'll say it again, the LGBT crowd, the Bible says that the wicked are like the troubled sea yeah. when it cannot rest, and the waves from its waters cast forth fire and dirt. I don't know if you've ever stood out and looked upon the sea when it was in its troubled state, but it just churns and churns and churns. Kicks up dirt, Brother Gary. It'll destroy buildings. Amen. It'll tear down lives. I've got news for you. These movements are not going to get any easier. Thank God that there's a man that walked upon the shores of Galilee one day. Thank God that he lived and he died for us. And he can be a peace. Amen. Amen. Down into your life. Amen. Amen. When the wicked is like the troubled sea constantly stirring. Amen. You've got one to look to. They got the cross of Calvary. Men and women, they're 
to get to his last days. Yeah. That's the only thing. Amen. I, I believe in guns. I like exercise. Amen. I try to save money. But none of that's going to get me through. Yeah. Amen. None of that's going to see me through the trials coming. And there's only one thing, and that's having God in my life. And I'm glad that it's free. I, got, I thought about the young the man. The Bible talks about him. It's what I was going to read about, but I just go ahead and quote it. Amen. Amen. This man was sick. Amen. And all the angel would come and trouble up the waters. And you could get in and be whole. Amen. Let me just go ahead and read it to us. This man had a sickness. John chapter 5. There was a time when we didn't have access to things like you and I do now. Thank God, but when Jesus died for us, amen, and that veil was ripped from top to bottom. Yes, amen. I know the world don't seem like care much about it anymore. Thank God, the name of Jesus is almost a bad name. We're going to be in chapter 5, St. John's Gospel. Amen. They don't want nothing to do with him. Amen. We used to have to be born of a certain breed of people, if you Amen. will. Bless the Lord. You become a proselyte. Amen. But if you weren't born of a Jewish mother, thank God, the Bible sometimes they looked upon you. Amen. Thank God, it's dogs. Amen. Yeah. An old Phoenician woman. Amen. She had a daughter that was grievously vexed with the devil. What am I trying to tell you? You've got a great privilege today, friend, because the blood of Christ was shed for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever who believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Amen. This woman had a devil that had a child that was grievously vexed with the devil. Thank God. And she saw the disciples and she began to cry and after them. Amen. To help her. And they sent her away. Amen. Because she was not part of the children of Israel. But she continued on her prayer and followed after Christ. Amen. And thank God they brought him to Jesus. Amen. And she said, Master, she said, has mercy upon me. They got to try to remember this. Amen. But they said, send her away, Lord. For she cried after us. They got this woman had a burden. Amen. Her daughter was grievously vexed with the devil. You know, they had a child with a problem. Amen. They brought her to the middle of God. And they said, send her away. They got her. But she came unto Jesus continuing. Amen. And Jesus told her. Amen. This is before he died. He said, it is not me to take the children's bread and to cast it unto <laughs> dogs. Amen. But she was persistent. And she said, Truth, Lord, yet the dogs eat of the crumbs that fall from their master's table. Yeah. Yes, they did. Jesus is. said, O oh, woman, great is thy faith. Be it unto thee even as thou wilt. And her daughter was made whole. Amen. That very hour. Amen. Amen. God, if you got a burden tonight, amen. If you've got something that's bare upon your heart, amen, maybe you've got something that I don't know nothing about, and to be honest with you, if Bless I can help Lord. you with it, I'd rather not know nothing about it. And then we got too many busy bodies in the church, thank God. I'd like to be one if God revealed something to you. That's one thing. The one thing that I don't like, though, is gossip, amen. Thank God, if you ain't got nothing nice to say about me, I'd just rather not hear it. Because if you've got something bad to say about me, amen, that's none of my business, as some folks would say. Thank God, but there's someone that knows. And then we go down there, whatever you might be struggling yes, with. Yes, amen. Bless the Lord. Some of us struggle with some pretty nasty things sometimes. <laughs> but there's one that knows, amen. He can look down and he can go through our hearts. And he's got the very thing that we need to help us with it. Right. Amen. Right. You might find out something about someone and cause you to think poorly of them. Yeah. Amen. But Christ knows. Amen. And I'm not excusing sin, don't get me wrong. But we find ourselves in situations sometimes. John chapter 5. After this, there was a feast of the Jews. And Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now there is at Jerusalem by the sheep market a pool, which is called in the Hebrew tongue Bethsa, having five porches. In these lay a great multitude of impotent folk, and had crippled people, in other words, of blind and of halt, withered, waiting for the movement of moving of the water. For an angel went down at a certain season into the pool and troubled the water. Whosoever then first after the troubling of the water 
stepped in, was made whole of whatsoever disease he had. Bless the Lord. Amen. This is in the Bible, so i got to believe this is a true happening. Amen. Amen. And a certain man was there, which had an infirmity thirty and eight years. Amen. And when Jesus saw him lie, and knew that he had been now a long time in that case, he said unto them, Wilt thou be made whole? Amen. That's what we need to ask ourselves. Amen. Will you be made whole of that burden that you've got tonight? Amen. Would you let God come into your life? Amen. And do whatever it is that he needs to do. Amen. To help you with whatever you're struggling with. Amen. Tonight. I thought that's something. Amen. That we need to look up and believe. Amen. That Jesus Christ is just as real today as he was 2,000 yeah. years ago. That God, the Bible says that without faith. Amen. It's impossible to please God. Amen. Man, tonight you've got to believe, thank God, that Jesus is exactly, amen, who he says he is. Thank God, this Christ, amen, that bled and died for us. Amen. He can heal bones, amen. He can cast out devils, thank Amen. God. He can cure cancer, amen. And he can mend a broken heart. Amen. Amen. Well, thou Lord. be made whole. Thank God, as Paul was up there preaching one time, amen, he amen. saw this man standing against him. Thank God. And he finally, he cast a burden upon him and he was cast blind. But the man that was listening to him preach, Paul looked at him. He said, will you be made whole today? Amen. Thank God, he had to believe it, amen. And God gave him that that he needed. Will thou be made whole? The important man answered him, sir, I have no man when the water is troubled to look me into the pool. But yeah. while I am coming, Another step is down before me. Jesus saith unto him, Rise, take up thy bed and walk. Yes. And immediately the man was yes, made whole. Bless the Lord. And, walked. and on the same day was the Sabbath. Amen. Thank God we don't have to wait and get in line for this, Brother Gary. Right, Thank God the only line that you and I have to get to is fall down upon our knees yes, and yes. believe that it's still real. Yeah. And God, Jesus said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Yes, Can amen. you still believe in the amen. living water this morning, thank God? Can amen. you still reach out and touch God? Yes, amen. You still Bless believe the Lord. he exists today. And God, there's a place you and I can get to when we begin to dig down and see God. That God, we can find him, amen, down in our lives. We can stir this up, amen, if we believe it just right, amen, and we can be made whole. Sometimes it'll almost sneak up on you. I know we forget about him sometimes. We get caught up in the cares of this life. I know I do, but there's still a place, amen. There's still a spirit, amen, that can reach out amen. and touch you. This Bless the Lord. Amen. No matter what the world does, amen, you can have Christ in your life. It might not always go exactly the way that you think it's going to. Victory may not always be yours. Amen. But somehow or another, he will see you through it. Amen. We are troubled. Amen. On every side. Cast down, but not destroyed. Amen. Amen. This world may think she's winning. The wicked grow worse and worse. They're waxing worse and worse. But there's still coming a day when God's going to come and receive his people right. back Amen. unto himself. Stay on the winning side, friend. Keep your sins covered by the blood of Christ. Amen. Keep following after Jesus. Amen. That's the only way the whole world can turn and go off another direction. You and I need to stay with Christ. Amen. Right. No matter Amen. what takes place, we have to do our best to stay with God. Amen. Amen. Lean not upon your own understanding. Amen. No matter what it looks like, stay with God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Sorry, if I'm a little, little maybe all over. I, Follow the spirit. I'm just trying to, trying to do my part. Like Brother Dave said, all I want to do is help. Amen. And if I can't help, then I just sit down. And I thought Brother Gary's been kind of giving the, the brunt of the load here. I got to work two weekends out of five. So when I'm here, I try to do my best well, to help you. Amen. I appreciate what you're doing. I, I really do. I know we our churches need to be kept open. Amen. When we can make it, we need to be here. Amen. Someone might be coming sometime and need to hear something. Your testimony that you think is small and no one cares about might be the very words that I needed to hear to cause me to go on a little bit further. Your song that you think that no one wants to hear might be the very thing that God put on your heart. Amen. Because that might have been what I needed. Amen. I don't know how many times. 
Have you come into the church house and man, just felt something that no one knew nothing about? And someone gets up there and sings a song right. and it sends that blessing. Yeah. Amen. And pours that latter rain down upon oh, you. Amen. God knows where you're at, friend. Yeah. He knows exactly what you're in need of. Thank God. Lean not. I gotta get some glasses. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. And lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. I just want to read one more thing, and then I'm going to close. This is out of 2 Chronicles chapter 16. This is about the king. This king's name was Asa. Now his father and his grandfather had went off, and they had not done good serving God. They had let sinful ways get into their lives. Amen. So just because your dad or your granddad didn't walk this pathway, that's no excuse for you and I. Amen. No matter what anyone else does, I'm going to be judge of my own life. Amen. Amen. The sins that I commit is the ones that I'll account for if I don't get Christ in my life. Amen. It don't matter if my father or my grandfather is living just as close as Moses, that's not going to get me in. Right. Amen. But all we have to do is have Christ, amen, down in our lives. But this land, the country, had been going in a wrong direction. Amen. And King Asa comes along, and the Bible says that he done all the things that he could. Amen. I don't want to get too deep into it, but he tried his best to put God into his life and into his kingdom. And when he did this, amen, the enemy came up against him, and he had righteousness, and he knew he could call upon God, and God delivered him. Amen. amen. But now I'm going to go over here to chapter 16. Somewhere along the way, Asa let something leak out of his life. Amen. He still was doing okay, but somewhere he lost, amen, that trust, amen, in God and God alone. If we're not careful, sometimes we lose that, amen, that, that, that vision, amen, of giving all to God, and we begin to look at other things, amen, to try and be our helper. Amen. And I know sometimes it seems so simple. Amen. But we need to be more spiritual. Just listen here to what King Asa ran into after God had delivered him. And then I'll, then I'll, then I'll go ahead and give it back to Brother Gary. Sorry, I, I know you uh, been do a lot, but uh, I'm not good at opening altars and stuff. In the sixth and thirtieth year of the reign of Asa, Basha, king of Israel, came up against Judah. Asa was the king of Judah. So Israel's coming up against him and built Ramah to the intent that he might let none go out or come in to Asa, king of Judah. In other words, they begin to siege them. Amen. Then Asa brought out silver and gold out of the treasures of the house of the Lord. That was his first mistake. And of the king's house and sent to Benahad, king of Syria, that dwelt at Damascus, saying, There is a league between me and thee as there was between my father and thy father. Behold, I have sent thee silver and gold. Go, break thy league with the king of Israel, that he may depart from me. Amen. Now I'm going to skip down here to verse 7, where the prophet, I believe, comes to him. And he says, And at that time, Hanani, the seer, came to Asa, king of Judah, and said unto him, Because thou hast relied on the king of Syria, and not relied on the Lord thy God, Therefore is the host of the king of Syria escaped out of thine hand. Were not the Ethiopians and the Lupums a huge host with very many chariots and horsemen? Yet because thou didst rely on the Lord, he delivered them into thine hand. For the eyes of the Lord run to and fro throughout the whole earth to show himself strong in the behalf of them whose heart is perfect toward him. Amen. I'm going to read that again. That's so important. For the eyes of the Lord run to and fro throughout the whole earth to show himself strong in the behalf of them whose heart is perfect towards him. Amen. I don't care what we're going through, and I know it's easy to say. Amen. But trust in the Lord with all thy heart. <laughs> Not into my own understanding. So many times that I think that I know the right way and I, I'm just as guilty as anyone. I get caught up in the spirit of the day. Sometimes at work, someone will say something or whatever, and I want to react a worldly way. 
And man, I don't ever cuss at him or nothing like that. I don't want you to get me wrong and, and lose confidence. But, but we ain't careful. We get caught up in, in finding things in a carnal way. But lean upon the Lord. That's the only thing that's going to get us through this. That's all I got to do here. Yes.